What's up guys, it's Priest coming back to a brand new episode of Binding of Isaac. Today we're back with the Eden Streak going for win number 49 in a row. And before we get into the video, I just want to say the reason why I'm wearing a PlayStation shirt is because my grandma gave it to me like two Christmases ago. Um, why a PlayStation shirt? No clue. She was like, oh, that's a video game thing? I'll get that for Jonas. Anyways, without further ado, let's get it right into this. And also, my name is Jonas. I do go by Preets online. Uh, did I say 48 or 49? I don't remember what number I said. But let's get it and see how this run starts out. And we get Polyphemus from the get-go. And we get Mucur... Not Mucur... Myco, Mucur... Mucurnium? Mucurnium? Myconium. Which gives us more black poops, which is awesome. And 5% chance of a black heart when black poop is destroyed. Oh my gosh. I didn't know about the black heart part. But Sparting... <laughs> Sparting? Starting out with uh, these items is actually super good. Our tier rate's not that good. I don't know what our base tier rate and base damage would be without these items. But, like, this is a pretty crazy run. Also, Bomb Buddy ain't too shabby. I am just going to blow up everything. It's going to give us the secret room. It's going to give us money. And I am just going to keep on blowing up my donation machines pretty early in the run. Because I think that's just the way to do it. You get the reroll machines, and that's just a big boy strat. We destroy everything, and let's just get out, get on out of here. We have all the bombs we could ever need. And let's go see what the item room holds for us. A little spewer, not too bad. I mean, pretty useless. I don't... Any familiar that doesn't, like, lend a hand towards conjoined is kind of not the best, in my opinion. Not that, like, conjoined's that good, but at least conjoined is something something fun to have in the run. Other familiars aren't, just, aren't that useful, though. I mean, it just depends, though. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just kind of spouting out nonsense. But we're just going to get on going. See how this run goes. We are going to go alt path. I probably, sh probably should have gotten the soul heart after I beat the boss. But this is going to be a very easy run with proptosis from the beginning. And I don't know why. I've been getting proptosis way, way too much recently. Some people say that once you get dead god, you just get really, like, good, like, really lucky runs. I will say that having dead god kind of does make it so you have better runs the only reason i would say that is because you have every item in the game and a lot of the op items you unlock later in the game so there's more i have more op items unlocked than somebody who doesn't have dead god so it's kind of true kind of true that dead god makes lucky runs happen but at the same time you can always have bad runs and let's just get out of here real quick so we can make this poop turn into poop that can drop stuff if you ever want poop that can drop stuff, I think you have to leave the room and come back in. I don't know if that's for sure, but maybe. And after yesterday's run, I'm feeling like this is going to be a good one. Yesterday's run wasn't bad or anything. Just wasn't my favorite, and that's sad. We got a damage down, but we did get a nice tier 8 up, which we like. And we did get a health down as well. So, let's look for the super secret room. Found the super secret room. And it has, when coins and bombs are equal, turns consumables into double consumables. Which isn't bad, but I really like Meconium. Meconium's actually a top tier trinket. I never used to take it, but black poops are super, super helpful uh, during your runs. Because it's just extra damage. You destroy them, it does damage to the entire room. It makes your life easier. And we just got an XL floor, which kind of is a bummer. A huge bummer. But we did get a planetary. Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? Never mind. No longer, it's, it is no longer a bummer in my opinion. This is actually anti-bummer because it gave us some good stuff. And this is so rude of the game to do this to me. I need keys, please. If I don't get keys, I'm going to be such a sad boy. And if you ever want to destroy fireflies, hold them, over the hold them over the flames. I don't know why I cannot speak today. Easiest way. Don't even shoot at them. You don't have to shoot. You never have to shoot. Shooting is too violent for me. And can we please get a key at some point? That would be mighty, mighty lovely. We're just going to blow up everybody and go to town. Yeah, honestly, Bomb Buddy isn't the worst item ever. I think that's what it's called. Mr. Mr. Boom, Mr. whatever its name is. Very, very strong. It is extremely helpful because it just gives you bombs you can use every two rooms. So, like, it kind of makes you use bombs every two rooms. So, you use bombs more often. You kind of like make sure you get every little thing in the in the floor. It's just nice. It, it's it ha like incentivizes bombing, and so I want to bomb as often as possible. And I can also kill fireflies with it. Thank you. Why are we getting the charges back so fast? Oh, I just I just put on a regular bomb. I'm stupid. I was like, that's weird. Watch this. 
destroy everything in one go. Okay, let's not lose our deal. How about that? That sounds like a good idea. And can we get some keys? We do get... Oh, we got three keys. That's actually perfect. We do take Swarm. Swarm is one of the best items in the game. Every time we do take... Anytime a tier hits one of our flies, it turns into a blue fly and flies away from us. Every time we finish a room, we get one more fly in our little circle. It's very awesome. I don't know why I came in here, but it's a good idea. I thought this was an, a secret room. Take you. Yeah, I do really wish there would be two secret rooms on XL floors. I don't think that would be too overpowered. I think that would make a lot of sense. I know it's a curse, but I feel like the curse is more of you not having your, your angel deal chance and your devil deal chance more than anything. Okay, you're out of here. You're out of here. I'm excited to go see what our planetarium item is. I'm not forgetting about it. Trust me. I just want to wait. I'm just being patient. Uh, you know what? Polyphemus plus dead onion isn't too bad. We can get a free devil deal on this floor. You know what? Free devil deal sounds fun. This gives us piercing and spectral tears. You know what? I'm fine with this. Since we have, if, if we have uh, piercing damage with Polyphemus, it's really good. It, you already have like semi-penetrating tiers with Polyphemus, but this just makes it a little bit better. And we will do that. I don't know if the free Devil Deal takes away our Angel Deal chance. I'm going to find that out today. That's going to be our, our thing we find out. And we do get, we do, we get Pluto. Honestly, Pluto is pretty awesome. Once you get high enough speed with Pluto, you can actually cross gaps sometimes. It's really weird. The game doesn't know how to handle itself whenever there's any sort of like tiny per tiny uh, character model. Okay, I don't have enough anything to get anything. That's my English term for the day. I don't have enough keys. I should have probably used keys a little bit smarter. But I think we're fine, honestly. Right now I'm just seeing if I can get any sort of soul hearts because there's a lot, and I mean a lot of blue flames on this floor. See if we find a crawl space or anything. And as you can see, like, you can you can get into some weird spots with Pluto. Pluto might be some people's least favorite or like not not top tier. I'll say it's it's a lot of people's not topest tier uh, planetarium item, but I actually do like it a lot. I think it's actually a pretty solid item because it does make it so you're small enough to go under Hush's tiers, so you can't really get hit by any Hush's attacks, which makes your life really really easy. And right now, I'm just looking to see if we can find the super secret room. We did. That's good. And we get a black heart, which isn't too bad. Now we just get to go to fight two bosses. And maybe I can try to go for Hush. Since we do have Pluto and we have Swarm, it's actually a pretty good setup. That's what we do. We do the little double tap. And we insta-clear the worm. Like a baller. If you just bomb twice and both bombs actually hit uh, Wormwood, Wormwood gets destroyed. Absolutely de denominated crazy did you guys ever get like numerators and denominators confused in math i always did I, I know what it is now because i've dealt with it so much but like for the longest time i never knew and i forgot to grab the trinket this is what we're gonna do we're gonna play a little game of is the devil deal still gonna be there and am i about to waste time by walking all the way back here i probably will but if the devil deal is still there we'll take it i think this is a better run to go for angel deals but we're putting this up chance and it's not there which is fine i'm perfectly okay with that and we somehow that's weird Our angel deal chance just like went to zero i know that doesn't actually mean anything and don't worry i'm gonna go back and get our trinket i just wanted to open this before i forgot i mean it's not like i was gonna forget but i want to put it past me to have gone back picked up the trinket and gone down the hole which might have been a good idea just to go to caves too like i say you should always go to the second floors i don't know why i don't ever listen to that but always, I, I feel like you can always avoid the XL floors. One thing that's pretty weird, though, is if you di if I did go to basement two and then to downpour, it would completely like change the like the way this whole run would have went, because we would have not had an XL floor, which would have given us this like an extra secret room. Think about that. Kind of crazy. We're just gonna bomb everything. Make sure we're not missing anything. I know I I was about to say I know I used my bombs for that, but I forgot I had golden bombs. So now we get to go to caves, and luckily we don't have another Curse of the XL. Can you get multiple Curse of the XLs in a row? I'm pretty sure you can. I'm pretty sure I've had that before. But that right there is brutal. If you ever do get multiple Curse of the Curse of the Labyrinth, is that what it is? I don't know any of the names of anything in this game. 
I play this game. I don't know how the game works, though. I'm a noob when it comes to everything. Even with 1,300 hours, I'm still bad. It happens. We exist. <laughs> yes, I'm vegan. Yes, I eat meat. We exist. That's me. Yes, I have 1,300 hours. Yes, I'm bad at the game. We exist. Okay, let's get you out of here. I hate rooms that are this size because the enemies, especially blind enemies, just run around like crazy. And you can't even do anything about it. Um, well, step one is this. I love these little blue spiders. They make me so happy. Sometimes you can get a blue spider and a soul heart, which is awesome. And I think we're going to take the random item, which it hurts isn't bad. It's not the best item. It's not something I definitely, like, really wanted. But it's something we got. So we'll take it with. Ain't too bad. Gives us a tier rate up once we take damage in a room. But it's only a room-wide tiers up. So it's like a... It's a, it's a worse bloody gust. A much worse bloody gust. But it's not the worst. You know, it's, it's, it's really not that bad. Especially whenever you're on a boss. It really helps you with stuff like Hush, uh, Mega Stan. All those type of bad boys. What are you? We do love... Uc Whoa, what? I don't even, that, that was a weird word. We do love luck upgrades. I just said love luck. They kind of just all slurred together. Uh, we already found the item room. Now all we're looking for is the shop real quick. We have a lot of money. A lot of money. We have about $4.2 million saved up in our offshore's bank accounts. I've never understood. I mean, I, I know why people use offshore bank accounts. And I know what they are. That's just such a weird term. Why don't we say like foreign bank accounts? Why don't we say something like that? It's just an offshore. It's just such a weird term, in my opinion. Kind of whack. Okay, we will open this because that could have a key in it. No key. Very sad. Okay, I don't know what's happening in here. I'm just trying to grab my money, please, and get out of getting out of here would be nice. We do have so much damage. I mean, we have a two tier rate with Polyphemus, which isn't bad. I think we're actually close to tier cap. I feel like tier cap's like 2.3 or something stupid like that. Maybe even 2.14. It's it's a really weird number. Uh, this could have a black heart. I need to shoot all the black poops. I've just been very reluctant. Not even reluctant. Just I just haven't been grabbing them. And what are you? Look how high the bomb is above our heads. Like, look at this. It's like a whole million years above us. Okay, we grab you. We're just looking for soul hearts, please. Oh, thank you. Okay, so we did get a soul heart. I'm kind of sad I didn't go to that first devil deal. I was really planning on going there. It would have been fun. But, I mean, devil deals just aren't the way. Some people do really like devil deals. And I, I do like devil deal. Devil items are some of my favorite items in the game. But I think the angel pool is just so much better now. And not losing health is really nice. Especially for my sanity. Losing health is scary. And there we go. We get our first black heart. And that's why we like Meconium. Meconium's actually kind of crazy. Free damage plus the occasional free red heart. That means every 1 in 20 uh, black poops we should get a black heart. Which is cool. That's a good number. And we're not going to use you. You want to see a cool strat? I think this might work. Nope. I thought that... Why did I think that was going to work? I really thought that was going to work. I thought that you could turn troll bombs into stuff. Apparently not. Okay, hello, Reap Creep. Reap Creep is one of my least favorite bosses. As soon as I found out that Reap Creep is a like a native boss to the game, like you can run into to Reap Creep your first run ever in this game. Which if I ran into Reap Creep, I'd be so sad. At least I think you can. Whenever I was doing the speed run to get Tana characters from the third save file, I hadn't done anything special to unlock Reap Creep, but I had him. Like before I had beat mom 11 times. So you can you can get Reap Creep way too early in this game. Very scary. Okay, good. Okay, thank you. I just need to hit my shots real quick. Reap Creep is a dodge master. We did not get the early angel deal. And we don't even have keys to go into the shop. Since we can't see anything, since we're blind, I'm just going to go to the next floor. Since I know that we did get the item room, I'll just, I'll just keep moving. Curse of the Darkness isn't the worst. I think Curse of the Darkness and Curse of the XL are probably my favorite quote-unquote curses. 
Like, none of them are my favorite. But I'd rather have them, because not having vis- Like, not being able to see, like, the map always sucks. And also not being able to see, see items is kind of the worst thing in the game. Because it makes me miss some fun stuff sometimes. I remember whenever we had got uh, Isaac's heart, one of the last... Was that... Was, did we get Isaac's heart? I can't remember if that was, like, on stream or what. If I had Isaac's heart in a room like this, it was horrifying. Okay, let's go in here. Okay, you know what? Booster pack's fun. There's nothing... Oh, my gosh. Okay, what the heck was this booster pack? And why did you just telegraph like that? Did you guys see that? For some reason... He went forwards and then went down. Like, he curved in mid, mid move. That was very weird. I saw it happening, but I didn't react to it. I was not able to react to it. It was just very fast. Like, afterwards, I realized what I did wrong. But it was just very whack. Okay, well, oh. Oh, my gosh. The actual snipiest sniper of them all. I hate this place. But we did get a Joker card, which is awesome. We do have a Hermit card, which I probably... I was going to pop it. I decided not to because if I popped a Hermit card right now... I probably would have lost, or not the Hermit card. I'm stupid. I'm at the Reverse Hierophant card. We do have the Reverse Hierophant card, which does give us two Bone Hearts. If I popped it right then, we would have lost both of them. So I'm okay with that. Queen of Hearts is awesome. Um, Hermit turns us into... Wait. Oh, it turns things into their equivalent value. So you, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm just going to drop this. And use the hermit card because we don't need to use it twice i don't think we need that much money i mean we're already at max right yeah we're already at max money so i didn't need to use the other hermit card plus i want to take the joker card with me and we're not going to use it on this floor most likely because we're going to get our angel deal at least we should it's pretty cool because we won't be losing our angel deal as long as we don't lose any red heart health other than our red heart health that's in the bone hearts if you lost your devil deal by losing the bone heart red heart health that would be such a bummer but luckily we are a okay good to go okay you are destroyed these guys are kind of brutal not gonna lie i'm taking a lot of weird damage uh, lucky i i thought i took damage just then but i forgot swarm is protecting us big swarm just doesn't protect you from contact damage which kind of sucks like what i don't know why it would protect you from contact damage i'm not saying it's bad that it doesn't but we can still take contact damage, which is one of my biggest issues in this game, is taking contact damage. Not that there is contact damage, it's just I'm really bad at not taking contact damage. I'd say 80% of the damage I take is contact. That might be a lie, actually. The most annoying damage is always contact. Um, you know what? I will take this because it's a slightly wider shot. And why not? I don't know what. I don't really want to take a mystery item. I don't feel like I'm up for a mystery. And honestly, we feel like like Polyphemus is feeling a little weak right now. We've not really gotten too much, too many damage up, so we've gotten two. But it was like we got a damage down, then a damage up to kind of go back to our base damage, our starting damage, and we got a tiny point like six nine, six three, whatever it is, damage up that actually got boosted a little bit because of Polyphemus. But we've only gained like two damage in total this whole run, which is kind of minuscule in the grand scheme of things. Sweet. We finally get to go to the shop. And you know what? We're just going to buy everything. Most likely. Because we can. I, don't, I mean, I guess I'll buy this. I'm going to buy a racer real quick. We're going to go race something. Okay, I don't want to race any of these guys because they're only on mines. No use in doing a mines only enemy. Thank you. We're looking to get like a spider or something out. Okay, this is not spiders. You're still not spiders. Where are the spiders that I can get out of here? We'll, just, we'll do this in a second. Okay. Uh, I could also get rid of the angel babies. That would be awesome. And this is the best item pretty much ever. I love mom's key. That gives us more bombs. And we just keep re-rolling. We're just going to keep buying and re-rolling. I mean, buying everything I see is not the worst idea, not the best idea. There's nothing wrong with it. And real quick, I'm going to go to the angel deal. And I'm going to get a free angel item. I think. First, I'm going to... I'm gonna. Uh, do I want to keep rolling? I'm going to keep rolling for a second. I might keep rolling. I'm trying to decide. I'm probably going to take king baby. 
I don't have enough money for that. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to the angel deal, use the present to get an extra angel item, hopefully not get lump of coal. If we get lump of coal, it's not the end of the world. Definitely not my favorite item ever. Oh my gosh, and Singe is honestly a terrible boss to have to fight. If you see Singe on a, uh, a Tainted Lost run, you're scared for your life. Because if he gets too close to you, he'll just blow up. And he does a very, like, he has a very large range of damage he can do. Like, look at that. It plinkos around like crazy. How am I supposed to deal with that? With a bomb, maybe? And on death, he explodes. It's just so annoying. Okay, thank you. We should not have taken that yet. We do take the magic eight ball. It does give us a tower card, which we don't need. And... Okay, yeah, we'll grab you. We'll use the present. Interesting. So what I'm gonna do is definitely, I'm gonna bomb this. I'm gonna take all of this because I do like having flight. I don't know why I don't grab it now. I should just grab it now. What am I doing right now? I don't know. I was thinking about voiding something in here. I was gonna avoid maybe the dead dove because we don't need spectral tears, but flight's really, really awesome no matter what. And we'll take the key piece. I was going to avoid the key piece, but I think I'm just going to avoid all the shop items. Because we have a lot of items in the shop, which means we can do a lot with that. Now let's go buy King Baby. We'll buy King Baby. We'll bomb this. And that is car battery. I would love car battery immensely. Is there anything I want? Uh, let's go take a racer and try to erase like a spider or something real quick. That could be very fun. I think we do get to use a racer once a floor, even with void. I might be wrong. I don't know exactly know how it works. It's gonna go well. Trust. Okay, this is useless to use this. You never want to use a racer on like a specific enemy that's only on a single floor. Is using it on this floor right here on any of these enemies? Like the that'd be useless. We're about to be off this floor. It would never like actually benefit us in the long run. We're looking to do spiders. Spiders are one of the best things. Also, flies are also really good. Sadly, we are on a very weird floor. I'm just going to do this. Well, I missed. Wait, what the heck? I wish you could get rid of these, these ghosts. Now that I see that, I wish that could happen. Okay, we already found the secret room. Nothing else we can really do. Yeah. Let's go to the shop. And we can't get more money, sadly. I wish we could get car battery but we won't be able to also car battery is not that good with void so it doesn't really matter we void everything and now we have a pretty crazy void right now what do we have in there we have pickaxe in there we should have a lot um i'm gonna do this real quick i know we have our white heart right here oh wow that was cool but hey we're going mausoleum we don't let anything stop us we are not doing some... We're not, our time is not the best right now. I got to speed up a little bit. We have pickaxe. We have... Uh, what do we have? We have box of friends. We have a racer. And we have Mr. Boom. And we always take Mysterious Liquid. Mysterious Liquid is so good. It is a little bit... I wouldn't say it's un underrated or anything. But I will say it is actually a pretty top tier item. Actually, I guess it's not that good with uh, penetrative damage. Now that I think about it, now that I see what it does. If we had like splash damage, if you have splash damage, um, this the liquid, the mysterious liquid, it's really good. And we are going to take crystal key because it can give you random red rooms. And I love, love me some red rooms. Okay, sweet. Take you. We already found the item room, so we can just get out of here as soon as we're done with this. Oh my gosh. Ooh, first red room. Oh, uh, imagine we found the ultra secret room. I really hope we can find the ultra secret room. That's my favorite thing is just getting the ultra secret room whenever you have crystal key is insane. We don't need you. World card is fine. Sun card is okay. Death card. Higher fence, awesome. Judgment's okay. Judgment's actually really good. Never mind. Because we also have the sun card in here so we can like get guaranteed payout. Hey, okay. where are you? We're having a lot of bad pills right now. Okay, payout? No payout. Ooh, okay, that is blue key. But that's not the blue key we want. Strange key is the one that we do want. This one, it looks like strange key, but it's not. Okay. 
M looks fun. M could be fun to try to reroll our item, but I really like the trinket we have, so this is okay. And let's pop you. Infestation, are you wizard? Bad trip. Okay. Since we do have full health in this pool of tears, I'm just going to keep on doing this. And we get more pills. Okay. Okay. Ooh, there's a lot of tears up. But there is bad trip in here, but I think it's worth it. Okay. I like using this, the. Oh my gosh. How many uses are we gonna get out of this thing? What the heck? We got a tears down, which actually gives us a huge tears down. Okay, what did we get out of that? Did we really get anything out of using that? I feel like we didn't. It looks like our tears, our tier rate's actually just lower than it was to begin with. I don't know what happened. That was wacky. Our damage is any higher. Nothing is any higher. But we did find a big old pill, which is cool. Something's wrong. That's fine. No ultra secret room. Very sad. We'll find it one day though. Don't you guys worry. We'll definitely find it. Is this the sacrifice room? No, it's not. You can get sacrifice rooms in the red rooms. It would have been nice to be able to see what kind of rooms we were getting if we didn't ta take amnesia, but it's all good. We can find our way around town. Ain't no thing. We do have no money left, which is kind of sad, but we did go through most of the store items, so we only have like pretty good ones left. We have like kind of the top tier store items left. So if we can get Humbling Bundle, that'd be quite awesome. And I have no clue where I'm going. I want to go back to the room that has our Joker card in it in it i feel like we're not going that way anymore and look we summoned a one tooth if you guys don't know the bats are actually called one tooths and i don't know how i got hit by that let's go we're just gonna suck you up okay we did get shot speed up which is kind of not fun kind of very sad magneto can open a certain chest for us i don't want it i really don't want magneto it can open spike chest without us taking damage is that a good trade? I don't think it is. And Alge's is fine. Alge's is actually really good in this situation. Let me go through there for free. I guess I just want you guys out of here. And let's finish up this floor. Actually, I forgot that we have spectral tears. I can be hiding over the stuff a lot more often. I'm playing this a little bit weird. Are we going back to the beginning or not? I can't tell what direction we're going. It just seems like we're getting closer to the boss, the boss room than it. That's just what I feel. I think we're going closer to the boss room. I don't know. I don't know where we're going. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going exactly where we want to be going. Okay, sweet. Wait, what? Did we go down? Wait, what the heck? Did all of our pills disappear? I guess they did. What the heck? That's super weird. Did I use a... Oh, I must have used a, like, infested pillar. Actually, no, infested wouldn't have done that. Wait, what could have destroyed all of our items? I'm very, very lost. Did I go to the shop or something? And use all the pills? No, I didn't. Oh, no, I, wait, did I come... Oh, I came here. Okay. I'm so confused. Wait, what? How did I get here? <laughs> Where am I? Ooh, okay. I think we know that there's not a tier rate, a tears rate up or anything in our pill pool. So there's nothing really good left. It's too bad. What are you? Death. Doesn't matter. We'll pop you. Another death card. Reverse death that just uses the uh, the book of the dead effect. If you guys didn't know. Okay, we'll destroy you. That's fine. We do want humbling bundle. And we'll be on our way. I really don't know how we ended up where we ended up. I'm very confused. I don't know what's happening right now. I'm quite scared, honestly, if I had to be honest. I'm just going to make my way through this floor. We're going to try to get another angel deal this floor, hopefully, without having to use our joker card. But no matter what, we get an angel deal this floor. Big ups, my gamers. We could get a devil deal, honestly. 
That would be the worst thing ever. But we're hoping for angel deals all the way. If we do switch over to devil deals, I mean, we have a lot of health. I wouldn't mind it, really. But we just need, like, a tier rate off. We need something good. Active Contrition would be fun. I don't really want to get Rosary or anything. But I really am okay with anything at this point. Because we have a really OP star. I would like to get Spun. Spun would be really nice. And I don't think we're going to make it to Hush. It's not going to happen this run. Unless we were able to get the Strange Key, then that would be pretty cool. Nice. Okay, we did get a Devil Deal. We'll take Mom's Underwear. We will come in here. Because why not? You know what? We're just going to take everything. We're just going to go Devil Deals all the way. And I know we already have piercing damage, but that does give us a damage up, which gives us a big damage up. See, we're at now at 21 damage. And 21 damage plus a cool tier effect makes us look more powerful than we are. Which I'm okay with. It's all about how we look, not how, how we actually are. Okay, let's get a going. I know we have not, like, nowhere near as much health. We're good. Who needs health anyways? Not us. I love fat bats. Fat bats are my favorite. Now, I didn't know that contract from below either makes it so you don't have any uh, reward for the room or you have double the reward for the room. I thought that it was just, like, a good thing all around. But it makes sense. It makes sense that you can either get nothing or double. So right now, it seems like we're getting kind of lucky. We're just going to keep, keep on moving along. Hopefully, good stuff happens to us. I don't really... I mean, I kind of wish I would have gone the angel deal route. And just knock on those items just then. But hey. I think we're having fun. And as long as we're having fun, we're playing the game right. Hey, watch out gamers. And wow, we're getting a lot of doubled items. I do think... That there could be a secret room at the bottom of this right here. Right? Nice. Yeah, there is. We do have spectral tears, so I don't need to even be trying to fight him. Pick up, do I take Steam Sale? I'm trying to decide. It's kind of a weird situation I'm in right now. Because if I take Steam Sale, it's not really going to be useful to me unless I get, like, Stairway. I'm not going to get Stairway, I don't think. I know what I'm doing right now might look a little stupid. It kind of is stupid. But I do like donating all my hearts away to try to get these guys to pay out. Luck Upgrade's fine. Luck Upgrade's actually really good. Are you ever going to pay out? I feel like you're not. What are you? Something's wrong. I'll pop that real quick just so we don't have it anymore. Now we have some more health to donate. I just need to get a payout, please. I want it so bad. That's fine. I actually do like Soul of Azazel. I'll use that in like one room real quick just to clear it. I could use it in a boss fight. But this is not what I wanted, game. Not what I wanted at all. Let's go get the other red heart. That's a lot of rare health. You know what? I'm just going to shoot this. I'm just going to clear the floor real quick, actually. If you ever use a uh, Mega Brimstone, you always want to shoot the direction, the, uh, the opposite direction of, what you're, of which you're walking so you can move around easier. And you know what? I think what we do here is grab this. Give, uh, we get a little bit more tier rate, which can go any direction we want, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I think we're doing real well. I'm going to leave the Eternal Heart behind for a second. And let's go see if we can pay out the stupid Devil Beggar. He's really not paying out, and it's kind of making me upset. But we'll, we'll be good. It's not actually making me upset. I really don't care if it pays out, but I just want it to pay out. He can do whatever he wants to do. But we have paid him a lot of health. He's being quite rude. That's fine. Um, we are going to use this. Not here. I'm going to go see what's in this room over here. You know what? We're just going to grab Steam Sale because why not? I never know how that's going to affect us. There is a Tinted Rock, which is huge. And we just need more health. I'm going to keep on donating until I'm out of Red Heart Health because it doesn't matter how much health I have. And then we just grab this and we just need health. Come on, game. Health, please. This drops spiders only. I know it only drops spiders, but hey. The black heart's always nice. You know, I don't, I don't mind that. 
And I wish I was low enough on health to go to the boss arena room. That would have been very cool. Very sick and very nasty, as I sometimes have said in my life. What are you? A troll bomb? Thanks. This is why we didn't take a quality. We hate a quality, the trinket, not the actual thing. We love a quality, IRL. Hate a quality in this game. In trinket form. A quality in trinket form is really not that good because it only doubles trinkets once everything's equal. And if everything's equal, you don't need more, really. Because usually, if everything's equal, that means that you have max capacity of everything. Other than having max capacity, it, it's really hard to have equal values. Now, it doesn't mean that if you have zero of everything, that is also equal as well. Ooh, we do get Gimpy, which is huge. That's actually really nice. We get another luck upgrade, which is not awesome. And we'll just keep going. We could turn the we could turn some stuff into money, but we don't need to. We already have as much money as we pretty much ever need. I'm gonna see if maybe we can find Dry Baby, or just a bunch of Black Heart Health. That's also also very cool. So far, no Dry Baby. We have a lot of damage, and our tier rate's really not that bad for having Polyphemus. We've been pretty lucky. Like yesterday, we had a really bad tier rate run from the beginning but then it turned into like a really good tier 8 run which is always nice okay nice we did find the secret room and what we're gonna do here is i know i could pay these out but i'm just gonna bomb them so i think bombing is just the easier strat and you are an unidentified pill let's go we do like a health upgrade and let's go and fight the boss hopefully we can get an angel deal I'll probably hold on to the card until we get to a different floor that usually wouldn't have an angel deal no matter what, like a cathedral. We'll just have to see. Okay, I'm like getting t a lot of damage taken. And there we go. We do get a devil deal, which is awesome. Um, I think we're just going to go chest the huge. And let's go here. Eye of the Occult is always awesome. I'm just going to do this. We take Eye of the Occult. We also take this. I know we're kind of low on health, but I don't think it really matters. And Bloody Lust is always a cool time. And we do have Gimpy, so I might as well pay this guy out. See? Ooh, and we have Invincibility. Oh, I forgot about that. That's awesome. More Invincibility. We like that. Degas is also awesome. See, this is just working out for us. And we get Pentagram. See? Everything works out. If you have Gimpy, always, always give away your health. And I didn't get that red heart. I'm a little stupid. I missed it slightly. Apparently, yesterday, I missed some bombs. I don't know what bombs I missed, but people were like, dang, you skipping those bombs hurt my heart. I was like, what? When did I skip bombs? I really thought that I picked up all the bombs. If I miss some bombs, I'm an actual loser. Because I was, like, having a bad time on bombs. This is apparently on four floor. Or four? Floor four. Dang, say that 10 times fast. You probably could. I just can't speak. I've had a really hard time speaking today. I was trying to say something to my parents when I walked upstairs earlier, and it just didn't come out. It was just like, I was like, and they're like, what, what are you saying? I'm like, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. My words don't come out as they're, they're intended. And I might take Nose Goblin. As much as I love, and I do love, Crystal Key. Nose Goblin is super awesome. But Crystal Key can find us the Ultra Secret Rooms, and Ultra Secret Rooms are fun. I actually do love Ultra Secret Rooms. This is a hard decision. Having Mom's Box plus uh, Crystal Key is awesome. You get all the Ultra Secret or all the Red Rooms. I think. I think you have have a much higher chance of getting Red Rooms. Okay, you are about to get destroyed. I get hit by that guy way too often. Ooh, Swallowed M80 is also a very good time. If you use it on a donation machine of any kind, a blood donation machine, a, a confessional, you should get unlimited, unlimited payouts. It's awesome. Okay, but we don't need Swallowed M80. Not today, at least. What we do need is this guy to die. And why are we not getting any red rooms? I'm actually very sad about this. Hopefully, the one red room we do get goes to the Ultra Secret Room. That'd be super cool. Nice. It'd be kind of cool if Crystal Key would, like, howl or something or make some sort of, like, indication of whenever you're, like, close to the uh, Ultra Secret Room. 
to make it like have another like little use to it so that'd be fun some way to like find the ultra secret room easier kind of like dog tooth would be really interesting i don't know why they would ever do that but it would be cool in my honest opinion still no dang we got nothing on this floor maybe there aren't any red doors in the rooms it would have activated on we'll go full clear just that this last little room i know we're already at 40 minutes and so it's i mean there's no reason for me to go faster I mean, I shouldn't go slower, at least. Going slower would be lame. Yeah, we're having a rough time. Crystal Key's just not paying out. I don't know. Do I just... Wow. Okay, well, that was that was crazy. That's why we love Mom's Key right there. That's why we got so much payout. Do I just want to take Nose Goblin? Nose Goblin would help us win the run. I think we're already OP enough, actually. If we take Nose Goblin, I mean, it's just going to help us out, but it's not like we're losing the run as is. Let me show you guys the magic of Swallowed M80. So you take it. Every time you get damaged, you explode. Not every time. Wait, what? The C? It makes it pay out. I don't know. Did they did they fix it? Maybe they fixed Wallet M80 in the donation machine. Because it used to be really crazy. Yeah, we're just going to take Crystal Key with us. It's more fun. I'm more about the fun runs than the super, super get overpowered runs. Because we're already really strong. And Swarm, as you can see, Swarm can spawn, I think up to the max amount of familiars you can have which i think is 64 so as long as you don't take any damage or the your, none of your flies get hit you'll just keep generating more and more but usually you're constantly taking like at least a hit or two every couple rooms so you're not going to have this that many flies like right here we're turn flies into tears but it's really good swarm is just really really strong you don't realize it's working until you lose it you don't have any flies left um but you know what I think we just use the joker card here and that's the one item that we really just don't need but this is what we can do we can actually pick it up and then use uh dang it we could we can you can pick up items and then use void as they're in the air above you and you can suck them up you don't get the uh the actual stats or anything from the item it just it does get sucked up it makes it so you can suck up devil deals or shop items but sadly i forgot mr boom is in our void so it just bombed us I was too busy trying to explain. I was itching my nose at the same time. We're fine. We we have a lot of damage, a lot of health as well. So we should be okay. I'm just going to try to go fast now. Okay, there was an Eternal Heart. I'm going to go pick those up in a second. We have to go back that way anyways. So we go. Pick these up. I should just pick up... I should just open up everything. You know what? It's probably a better idea. This is a luck up. Man, I really should have taken Nose Goblin. I forgot that we have just a dumb amount of luck. Nothing good. Wait. Bad gas. Balls of steel. Okay, that's a pretty good pill. If we can find more of those, that wouldn't be the worst e thing ever. We are full in health, so it's not like it matters too much. Now I just realized that we're never going to be able to go to Mega Stand unless we sacrifice, which I don't know if I'm really down to sacrifice right now, but it wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Sacrificing this late into the run kind of sucks, though, because you do lose. I mean, no matter what, you lose a full heart of health when you're sacrificing. It just sucks because it's it's very late in the run. You lose a lot of health. And ooh, a bedroom? It's a P bedroom. Never mind. P bedrooms always have a trap door. Wait a sec. Okay, can't have a trap door in this room. Um, but I'm gonna take 40 hour energy because that means we get lots of suckies. As that's a actual real terminology. Void has suckies. And we do lots of sucking. Ooh, there we go. What are we gonna get? If we got brimstone or something crazy, we could even get sacred heart. Imagine. All we get is anemic. I'm taking anemic just because I can. I, I know I could have just sucked it up. But why do that? But we can just gain. And, man, we, it looks like we have such a high tier rate. Like, it's weird this is 2.3. Because it seems like it's a really, really high tier rate. And so far, I mean, Ultra Secret Rooms have been so bad for me recently. I've not gotten anything good out of them for a long time. And it kind of makes me sad because it used to be so good. I miss when they were just angel items because just having them as angel items was cool. But it does make sense that the red key gets you to this like super ultra secret red room that only has red items. It fits the theme. But it's just you don't get as much OP items out of it. And so it's not as fun to find anymore. I find I'm usually disappointed. Like we've gotten Magneto and we got Magneto and we got Anemic, which are like the worst red items ever. Come on, give me like Brimstone, give me Sacred Heart, give me anything. I miss the days of getting Sacred Heart all the time in those. It was also really OP as well. I don't know. Maybe I complain a little too much. 
I just want to see Brimstone in there. I've got Omega in there before as well. But here we go. Now we're on the way to the next floor. I know I probably should have looked for like a sacrifice room or something. But we don't need a sacrifice. No need. And I hate this. I hate Curse of the Blind on the last floor. But that just means that we have to take everything. Ooh, what the heck? Okay, Eve's Mascara with this is not too shabby. Plus, we have Split Shot. Dang. And this is nine lives right here, which is really good. Oh, wait, it's not nine lives. Interesting. Okay. Well, never mind. Okay, D20. Bag of Crafting. We just suck everything up. I don't know what sucking, ba sucking Bag of Crafting up does. That's all good. Dang, we're getting all the items right now. But it's all the bad items. We're getting really bad items. And we got Ease Mascara and Polyphemus, I know. Really good items. But, like, so far on this floor, the items have been kind of trash. Like, they continue to be trash. Kind of weird. <laughs> it's kind of really weird. But I will say, having a uh, contract from below on this floor is awesome. Because you just get so many chests. If you had Gilded Key on this floor, as well as contract from below, imagine how many chests you'd get. You'd get, like, 57,000 items. Exactly. That's the number you'd get. I calculated it in my head, tabulated it in my head, should I say. And we are just destructive right now. I do love Eye of the Occult. Eye of the Occult is a very, very fun item. Especially whenever you have split shot, because it makes every tier you have ever just go in the same direction. And so it just lets you have like these helicopter tiers that just shred. Love it. Okay, we got a frowning gaper. Interesting. Ooh, red room. We love that. And what items are we going to get? Mucormycosis is super fun, especially since we have such a high luck stat. I'm glad we finally got a luck-based item. Jeez. We are scary. We already have max money. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. We've already won this run, pretty much. I just wish that we could go to Mega Stan. I don't think there's any way for us to go to Mega Stan right now. Yeah, there's just no way. Thank you. Lost Soul. Interesting. We're just gonna suck up butt bombs. Wait, what the heck? Wait, what? Oh, so I have, I have D20 that just rerolled something into a chest. Doctor's Wiimote. I like calling it Doctor's Wiimote because it sounds like I'm mispronouncing my R, but it also says like sounds like I'm saying Wiimote, as in like the Wiimote from the Nintendo Wii. My favorite thing. Okay. Ultra Secret Room? Nope. Bloody Gust, not bad. D1, not the best. Anything? Nothing. I can't even see past my own tears. This is a little rough. Ooh, wait, what the heck? We found the Secret Room. Wait. How did we find the Secret Room just then? Do I have cracked orb or something somehow? I don't know why that opened up. That was really weird. I'm gonna go try to take damage or try to take damage in the uh, room next to Mega Stand and see if I can somehow get into the Mega Stand fight. That was really weird how that door opened whenever I took damage. I don't know why that happened. What the heck? We're getting so many items. Spoon Bender is awesome. Common Cold's awesome. Finally getting nine lives, which is very sick and epic. I cannot see a thing. We do too much damage. We do too much right now. Everything's invisible. Okay, I was just using the void to see if we could D20 anything, and I know we already found all the secret rooms. So I don't need to be bombing anymore. Actually, we didn't find all the secret rooms. Take that back. Hello, worms? Pin will be in this room, but Pin is also dead. Man. This is, a, this is a pretty top tier run. I don't know. It just, it just is like kind of weird. It just kind of happened where it's starting OP is just not as fun as just getting OP. Like we did kind of get OP. We've kind of just been very strong from the get go. Or boost is kind of cool. I wish it wasn't a range up though. Here we go. Watch how fast we fight. We just instantly win. No delirium portal. So that might just be the end of the run right there. But maybe, just maybe, I don't know why. But when we took damage, the secret room did open. I don't know what I didn't see or what I missed. But let's see if for some reason, me taking damage causes the door to open. 
It is not. I thought that maybe. I don't know why I would have had. I don't know why why would it would have had anything that opened the secret room. Maybe a bomb got dropped. And I didn't notice it. But that's too bad. Well, that's the end of the run. That was kind of a kind of a weird run. Kind of just happened. Nothing much happened. I really wish I could have gone gone to Mega Stand, but that's just how it goes sometimes. And that right there was win number forty nine in a row so if you guys did enjoy that video please like comment and subscribe we're almost to 50 wins which is pretty big that's halfway to 100 which 100 wins is a lot my goal is to get past where i was last time i was doing the Eden streak because we were up to 106 before i finished or before i ended the streak i purposely ended it for anybody new who doesn't know that i purposely ended it because i want to take it wanted to take a break but anyways thank you guys for watching as always it's been preets peace out